I was reading a PDF. Oh, well, first, I want to thank Dwayne from the center of my heart. I just want to thank him with my whole soul being. I'm so grateful. Because when I was in Ekankar, I was it sort it sort of felt like I was having the post traumatic syndrome that soldiers get, but three times over. <laughs> so I was, at first I thought it was me, the dark night of soul, a test I was going to. But finally I realized, oh my God, what's going on? Well the wonder I was feeling that way. So I just want to thank Dwayne for uh, letting me see the light there. But uh, uh, I was reading the PDF book uh, one night, and uh, because I come from a Christian background when I was a teenager, uh, I always uh, I thought I got away from that. I thought I had finally realized that there's no such thing as a God, you know. So when I was reading the PDF book, I would always say, uh, like when Dwayne calls him to call him God, I would say call him janitor or call him maintenance worker or call him supervisor. As well as the other ones, I always, always say janitor, supervisor or, or um, maintenance worker. Because according to Paul, he's, he, they handle these cosmic energies to flow through the universe. So I just feel like, that's what they are, <laughs> maintenance workers. But uh, when I was reading that PDF book, and each time I came across that, I would say that. And then one time, this giant head up came through the through the through the living room where I was reading it, and it didn't look at me. It looked straight, like in front, but it, it just showed its profile. But I could see that it was a three-dimensional giant head. And it had shiny black hair, and it was very courteous and very, uh, very polite. And it said, I don't appreciate that you're calling me a janitor. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Is this real? <laughs> What's going on here? So all of a sudden, I, came, I became very assertive and very uh, strong, because usually I'm a, I'm a quiet, shy person. And I became like, I don't know where I got this bravery from, but I, I just became very assertive and strong. And I said to him, and I didn't point my finger at him, but it felt like I was pointing my finger at him. And I said, well, I don't appreciate that you're lying to me. And he tried to argue the point, And each time he tried to argue it, he became smaller and then smaller. And then <laughs> finally he just left. So that was an interesting experience about how if I'm, very real and truthful to them, then they have to be real and truthful back. They can't pull the wool over me kind of thing. So, so that was an interesting little experience and lesson. Yes, thank you, Ramon. Uh, that's fun. And, you know, just like when, you know, you're a Christian background and you read the Bible, when you really, when you really start to notice things in the Bible, you look at all the so-called attitudes God has, you know, they're very specific. I am a jealous God. There will be no other gods before me. And just on and on, he has an attitude. So here's your experience, which is really cool. You all of a sudden, you're thinking of him as a janitor and he picks that up. Of course he does because he's watching you uh, because you're one of those that are trying to struggle out of his kingdom. And so he has this attitude again with you. And so you, you know, just uh, uh, like the little soul sh shaking your fist, it's like, you know, I have rights too, was what you're saying. And yes, you do. And so the authorities have, uh, you know, dumbed us down so much to where we're thinking that uh, we don't have rights. Only they have rights and they know what they're doing, etc. And so, again, as he's arguing with you and trying to justify it, again, compare it to the sun. Does the sun do that? No. The sun's just wonderful, isn't it? It's just always wonderful. And it's a, it's a view to where you recognize what's taking place. Well, in this situation here, it's personal confrontation, isn't it? And, again, by his attitude, he's showing that he's just simply what he is and his attitude. And yes, he acts very benevolent 
just like the politicians and the president coming out, they act very benevolent. But what is their agenda behind the scenes? The intent. Always look behind the scenes at the intent. And so by the very fact that he wanted to get his attitude across, etc., because he can also see what you're going into and what's possible for you. So he wants to make sure. But at the same time, he shrunk himself. It's, it's self-evident. So there's a very good comparison. That's fun. Those are fun, Ramon. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. It's all for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, once once when I was a Christian, about, uh, this was when I was in oh, my 20s. I was I read the whole Bible through from uh, beginning to the end. I came to this portion. I have it here John 14:21 whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father and I too will love them and show myself to him to to them. And once I read that show myself to him I heard him heard him say my 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 name val and but he was very mock he's like a mock mocking me you know like yeah you're reading my stuff but um <laughs> i'm here but he just had an attitude you know so it just kind of at the time i didn't think too much of it but now just like with other experiences you may have real side experiences you look back and you see you know this this being who is just like any other being is just taken on this position. I mean, this guy had an attitude and people project things onto him and he uses that, those projections and energies and things to enhance his own position. So we see that now more and more how um, we don't have to agree to, to these, uh, these beings who are in these positions you know, we can, do do better and i will say uh yes thank you val and everybody uh this is the new moment and it's not a redo of anything it is an actual isness that uh, is always new and so the old references are just that those are the was that it referred to but it refers to what it is now. So it's to be recognized now. So we don't have any references to the old ek terms or gods or deities, authorities, etc. It's none of that. We have real education, real guidance. And each individual that steps up has the courage to do so, to take the risk, to see what's real and present it. That's who we are. Yeah. It's all for you. See you next time. Thank you, Val. Thank you, everybody. This planet Earth needs a lot of help from all of us right now. Dean Val of NUUU Nations United Universal University is contacting people around this world every day to share the importance of the all-natural environment supporting all of us. Dean Vow and Dwayne Lee Hepner dot org 501 C3 have created C-A-N Community Action Network to help all communities become aware of how to be self-sufficient with permaculture and food and rainforests. We are always looking for real people to step up who want to learn what life on this earth is all about. We will be leasing 
large portions of land to create something wonderful for all communities everywhere. Contact Val Vitals on Skype and Facebook to get involved with what we all can do now or through the phone number provided or the website in the links. Dwayne the Great Writer dot net Join us for weekly environment awareness Skypes every Sunday at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The N U U U Nations United Universal University is dedicated to supporting and providing a real purpose and real awareness with the all natural environment supporting all of us. First comes this earth with food and rainforests and to protect what is still here for those who have the awareness to see what is actually taking place here with all the natural devastation which is also purposely planned by world controllers, you now have a real opportunity to step up and do something with those who also care about your planet Earth. Dwayne Lee Hepner has created the NUUU Nations United Universal University which completely entails the all-natural environment everywhere and a real education that has real value and that far surpasses any commonly created indoctrinating educational system that does not focus on what sustains all of us naturally. Real survival makes sense with everything here that is self-sustaining.